Hi, this is Kimberly. I'm the team captain for the University of Hawaii at Manoa Library and Information Science web team. And I'm going to be telling you how to uh, transfer your HTML files for your ePortfolio to your student server space. So you should have already watched the first lesson about how to download your template. And by now you should have um, made changes to that template to personalize it and add files and links and pictures and things like that. And now you just want to publish it. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, make sure that your files are saved to your desktop under a folder called ePortfolio. So in the first lesson, that's what we did. We saved it to our desktop. So all of your files should be here. Index, personal, projects, resume, courses, and your CSS style sheet. Now, all of these could be different on your end, but you definitely should have at least an index, HTML, and it should be called index.html, not home or anything like that, but index, and also your ePortfolio CSS. And it's really important that that CSS stays that name. It should be ePortfolio CSS. Now the cascading, cascading shot style sheet, which is what that, that CSS stands for, um, actually defines the different templates or the, the actual templates. So all the pages should have the same exact style, the same background color, the, the same text color, the same text style, everything. So now that we know that's there, you want to open up your um, Fugu if you're in Mac or your SSH shell if you're working in PC. And what we're going to do is connect, and this is going to be the same whether or not you're uh, using a PC or a Mac. You just want to connect using your uh, uhunix.hawaii.edu and simply type in your uh username, click connect. And some of you might get a prompt to type in your password. Go ahead and type your prop password in, and if it asks you to prove things, say yes, of course, and uh, you know, the, go from there. Okay, so once you're in, Across the board, whether you're using your shell or whether you're using Fugu, it's going to be the same. On the left-hand side, it's your local pages, so everything on your computer, your home computer, is going to show up here. And everything on the right-hand side is your UH, Unix, or your server space. So this is all your remote website space on the, um, the UH uh, Hawaii.edu server. So this is where you're going to publish all of your folders. Now, some of you might have issues with where you save your folders and might not show up on your space. I'm not sure why that happens, but some of you might have to save it out here in the open in the, the very first section of your your folders, or some of you might have to save it in your public underscore HTML for it to show up. So let's try both and let's test it out. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to your desktop, you're going to find your ePortfolio, and you're just going to select all of those. So do a select all and drag and drop. You're going to make sure that these have all completed. So you're going to look to see that there's a size for all of them. And also another thing that you want to make sure about is uh, the properties are um, correct. So if they don't have 777 in the properties, it's not going to show up on your website. So right click on each one. For Fugu, it's get info. For um, PC, it's um, properties. Okay, so get info, change it to all permissions, apply. Okay. And once you've done that, go ahead and refresh. So for uh, PC users, it's going to be on top here, and it's going to look kind of like this, but it'll be a lot smaller. Just click on it and it refreshes all of your, your files. OK, so now that it's uploaded to my server space, let's go ahead and test to see whether or not it's actually there. So in order to find it, you're going to type www.hawaii.edu, and you're going to do a forward slash tilde and your UH username. So mine's not showing up. It's actually showing a directory for mine. So that is probably because I have to save it to my public folders. So what I'm going to do is simply select the folder or the files that I want to transfer in and I'm going to send it to my public instead. Actually it's not going to let me do that. Let's do that from here. 
Okay, now that they're on the public, let's refresh and see what happens. There it is. So as you can see, it's a little touchy. You never really know why it doesn't show up, but um, that's sometimes the issue that you have to either save it to your public underscore HTML file, or you have to save it to your um, your main section. I know it happens either way. So if one way doesn't work, then the other one probably will. So I'm gonna delete these because I don't need them anymore. I've already got them saved in my public HTML. So as you can see here, it has all of my, my uh, folders or all my files for my design. And it's active, it's on the web because I checked it here on my actual link. And when I click all of these links, it shows every page properly. Now, by now, um, this is all the basic template, but by now you should have changed this so it has your name and it has your information and your courses and your CV or your resume and your student bio and maybe some projects. And make sure you also change your footer on every single page. So again, this is the way that you actually transfer your files from your computer, from your computer desktop to your student server space. If you have any questions, you can email us at uhlisweb team at gmail.com.